Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Monday's edition of The Breakfast Club. I'm Got That Funk. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I'd also like to thank Kazoom Fowler for sitting in for the peach yesterday. And I'm sure we'll see more of Kazoom on The Breakfast Club as time unfolds. And I'd also like to thank Wayne Watley for bringing up his topic for this week's Round Robin discussion, which is conspiracy theories. Now, I have to admit that there are several in very famous conspiracy theories that I entertain. And by entertain, I don't mean belief. If I meant belief, I would say I believe. The thing is, I can't believe any conspiracy theories because uh, they wouldn't be conspiracy theories if there was proof that they were real. And without proof, I can't say that I believe it. So there's that. Having said that, some of them I do find compelling and worthy of my consideration. For example, I have always been convinced and will never be dissuaded, uh, based on what I've seen, uh, that there was only one shooter for John F. Kennedy. Sorry, I don't buy it. Um, just as a Pruder film alone, to me, it looks pretty fucking obvious that he got hit from the side on the final shot. And that being the case, it just seems obvious that there was more than one shooter. And there's so many other reasons to think that, I mean, which I don't necessarily want to belabor. Because I don't want this video to be about specific conspiracy theories as such. But I also entertain certain uh, inquiries about various anomalies to do with 9-11, um, the Robert Kennedy assassination. Um, what else? Um, well, those are the ones that are the most famous that I can think of. JFK, RFK, and 9-11. Certain conspiracy theories that I just dismiss out of hand or like people who think that we faked the moon landings or uh, people who think that um, the earth is flat uh, or, or people who think that chemtrails are some sort of shadowy organization pumping chemicals into the atmosphere to change us in some way or control us or some shit like that, whatever the fuck. Uh, the idea that uh, the people who are controlling such things has to breathe the same air as we do is all I need to know to make me realize that that just can't be the way it is. You know, I, I don't really have to think about stuff like that. Years ago on my channel, I made a video called The Conspiracy Theory, Conspiracy Theory, uh, which is my own theory, uh, which is that sometimes the powers that be, um, even if they have nothing to do nefariously with a tragic event, uh, sometimes will put out misinformation, which will make it look like there could be a possible conspiracy. Why do I think this? This is my conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory. You see, I think that... Um, they do this because when you generate a conspiracy theory, uh, thanks to public discourse on the internet, the term conspiracy theory has taken on rather a pejorative connotation, it has, hasn't it? I mean, it, it basically, people who buy into conspiracy theories uh, face an awful lot of um, either approbation or ridicule. So knowing this, the powers that be, right, throw some misinformation out there at tragic events which can make it look like there's a conspiracy. They'll generate a lot of chatter and it will deflect uncomfortable inquiries uh, about you know whatever their involvement may have been and or knowledge may have been uh, prior to the events. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. That's my conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory. And when I came up with this, it was about, I don't know, 13 or so years ago, and uh, there was a conspiracy theory start I, I had noticed on, um, I used to have a, a blog on Live Journal, And uh, there's uh, this guy talking about how they had photographs of George Bush on 9-11 and uh, it, they were taken at different times of the day. And in all the photographs, George Bush is clearly wearing a, a slightly different suit. And um, they're clearly real photographs, you know, and all that kind of thing. But he's got a different suit on. And uh, they do look very sort of posed, sort of staged, even though it's meant to be like George Bush in a crisis kind of a thing. And it made me think that they probably, you know, knowingly did that just because they wanted to generate this kind of conspiracy theory talk. I think such things could be very useful. That's my conspiracy theory. I, I do have a hobby of coming up with uh, conspiracy theories just because I think it's kind of fun. You know, you can uh, look at something which maybe you think shouldn't be and go, well, there must be a reason for that that nobody is talking about. I'll give you another one of my conspiracy theories that I just made up. This was years ago. But, you know, you just picture your typical living room sofa, right? 
chances are high that unless you paid to get one specifically good for your back, your sofa is really bad for your back, especially most of the ways that people are going to sit in a sofa when they're lounging in their room. Well, we, why don't we just build chairs that are good for our backs? Well, because, you know, if you have back problems, it creates all kinds of other sort of physical ailments and blah, 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 and it keeps all these people in business. And so, you know, the people in the, in the, in the, in the fix, fix your body up industry are in on the beds and, and, and sofas that we, that we buy because they want us to have fucked up backs. It's a conspiracy, man. I look forward to the comments section. And uh, up next, of course, is the newest member of the Breakfast Club, Sister Danger. I look forward to seeing what she's got to say on this subject, and I'll see you again next week. May all your ups and downs be ups.